Hi. I, oh, I forgot my mic. Okay. Just a mess. <laughs> this is day three and I'm already like, I'm so over this. I'm doing, I'm Zamali, the Glitter Priestess, and I'm doing the 18 day video vixen submission um, by Enchantress Shane Coleman. And looking, I looked back at my first two days today and the quality of the videos was horrible. But anyway, I'm, I'm going forward. And lots of technical difficulties, blah, blah, blah. I can't sign back into the course. But I did look at the prompt earlier. Um, I don't remember the exact wording. Excuse me, but I'm at, right now I'm in Guyana, South America. And the internet connection is not the greatest. But I'm just gonna keep going because I think that's the point of this challenge. It's just you now I'm all like sweaty, like trying to put this together. I did put on makeup and everything, but now I'm melting. That fan is still on. I meant to turn it off. I don't have the mic on. The audio is probably gonna be terrible, but we're staying positive. <laughs> so, um, one thing that really inspires me um, is is reading. I love to read. I read tons and tons and tons of books. My mother taught me how to read when I was two years old and I've just been reading like crazy ever since. And this is what I'm reading right now, African Goddess Initiation by my sister, Abiola Abrams. She also a great inspiration to me. She's someone who um, inspires me. Uh, this book is really amazing. It has a lot of history, culture, religion, um, she has been um, a leading thinker in the divine feminine space for many years now. So it's really exciting that she wrote this book and it has um, a lot of prompts and um, I'm not finding my words right now, but it gives a lot of ways to get in touch with ancestors, get in touch with specific um, goddesses from different pantheons. It goes throughout the diaspora. Um, that really inspires me. History inspires me. I just, I'm, I'm also reading a book, almost finished. I wanted to finish it before I came to Guyana. This book called Silencing the Past that my friend Mitsuko uh, lent to me. Mitsuko is a librarian artist. One of two friends I have who are librarian artists. The other one being um, Ola Ronke Akinmowo. We just call her Ola, who runs the Free Black Women's Library. But anyway, so Mitsuko lent me this amazing book that is in New York um, called Silence in the Past, and it's about how histories are created. And that's something that's a huge inspiration to me. I'm inspired by folklore, folk magic, folk medicine, uh, different traditions throughout the diaspora, the African diaspora. And um, I'll check out my t-shirt. This is <laughs> um, an organization in Queens for Black businesses. Um, but what else? So I think that's it. Those are some of the things that inspire me. I get I get inspired by everything. I'm really inspired also by pop culture. I'm inspired by TV, reality TV, movies. Um, I'm not feeling too great right now, so I'm like, I'm gonna go curl up in bed and watch 13 Going on 30, which I realized the other day is on Netflix. That makes me feel good all the time. So that's it for now. I'm melting right now. <laughs> So I'm gonna go turn the other fan back on and, uh, and and go lie down because I don't feel well. I'm praying I don't have COVID again, which I had last month. <laughs> Help. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna stick with this challenge regardless of the challenges of the challenge. I think that's the whole idea. So thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.